everybody on the internet and YouTube, and welcome back to The Sims 2 Pleasant View with me, Tea Addict. I currently don't have a cup of tea because I just ate dinner, but I do have a glass of water, which is going down a treat. So that's fine. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're back with the Dreamer household today. Um, Darren, I'm not entirely sure what happened because his wants all kind of bugged out, but like... Apparently all of his worst fears came true and he is now in the deep red aspiration. He is, also has a carpool coming to pick him up for his new job in literally like half an hour. So that's going to be fun. He can just maybe have some juice before he goes to work. Unless he has a mental breakdown. Like, I, I, I seriously, I don't know what happened. No, he's literally having a mental breakdown. Oh, okay. So this is, yeah, this is how we're joining in with the uh, dreamer household today, everyone. <laughs> okay. Let's use our imagination. So I'm going to say that something about Cassandra's marriage and consequent like rejections of him have driven him over the edge. Okay. He has been in love with Cassandra for a little while. I think he is still in love with Cassandra. Yes, he is. We saw in the last part of the dreamers that he was at the hub with her downtown and trying to hit on her and it did not go very well. In the Lothario part, we saw that Darren actually called her up and invited her out and she said no because she had just gotten a new animal and she didn't want to leave the house and yeah, so it seems like Cassandra has really shut the door on Darren at the moment and it's a little sad. Um, in fact, it's like really sad. Poor Darren, like what a time for him. His, yeah, his... The person he really wants to be with more than anyone else has rejected him. So I guess that's why he's really sad. <laughs> so this part we are going to be continuing on, um, yeah, progressing these sims. Dirk, uh, he has, if you remember, a job as well as school. So he is going to be under the pump to keep up his grades, his schoolwork and also his job performance. Uh, he hasn't done his homework yet. Well, he's half done his homework, so he's going to have to try to squeeze in finishing that before school because I just I see him as a Sim who would always do his homework no matter what since um, his dad, you know, really kind of wants him to do well. Um, I also made it so, uh, if we remember again from last part, that Dirk's lifetime want is to be the chief of staff and Darren's was to be like the cult leader. I've actually changed that, okay? So... His lifetime want now is also to be the chief of staff. So the story I kind of see for these Sims is that like Darren cares so much about Dirk doing well because honestly, he doesn't want him to turn out like his old man. He doesn't want his son to go through the same things that he's going through. You know, this, the inability to pay the bills, not really having the skills to earn a good living. Like he is really going to push Dirk to, to be the greatest, like, version of himself that he can be um you know he really wants to see his son go to college and become a doctor and really successful so that's yeah that's sort of how I see that um of course right now everybody is at school or work so I will see you guys when Darren gets home okay well Dirk is home from school Darren will be home in about an hour. He wants uh, fun and social and he has rolled wants to be friends with both Melody Tinker and Dustin Broke, which I think is really interesting. Obviously, he would have met Melody at the party uh, that his girlfriend threw where they had their foosh, foosh, what first woohoo, which we can see it here. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cute that they want to be friends and I can see that Dirk and Melody Tinker would actually get along quite well. Like, they're very similar sims, um, not just in terms of the way they look, but, like, they're both very driven, they're both kind of very studious, very serious sims who really just want to, yeah, succeed in life, and, yeah. Oh, Lilith is here, hello! Wait, we have to go to work in a minute. Oh, no. Okay, honey, um, we can't really talk right now, but we'll call you later, alright, babe? Cool. <laughs> I'm going to be extremely rude and just completely ignore her. Awkward. Uh, but yeah, so I would love for him to become friends with both Melody and Dirk. Um, what? Dustin. Too many D names in this part, I swear. Uh, yeah, I would love for him to be friends with both of those names. I think that would be really cute. So. Oh, yay. All right. So Darren has been promoted to street character... 
caricaturist. <laughs> that's a hard word to say. Level two. That's awesome. So he now works from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and brought home much money. So we are going to pay all of the bills immediately. That is the first order of business. And then he needs everything. He needs fun and social and comfort and everything. So we are going to just use the bathroom. Um, and then I'm going to have Darren paint. Ah, you'll also see that his age, I've, I've reset him so he has 29 days until he becomes an elder. So remembering that my system kind of works uh, in that one year equals two sim days, you can sort of assume he's mid-aged. That's basically how it is. So uh, the other option was for me to like reset him in the adult life stage and then add days to his age until he was middle-aged. But anyway, long story short, I just made him like middle-aged this way. That was such a pointless sentence. Sorry. Please ignore that I just said that. Okay. So Dirk has a chance card. Water, agua, leo. It's all about the H2O as far as Dirk's concerned. Thirsty players require swift responses. Dirk is jogging back and forth between the locker room and the playing field with an when a distinct commotion catches his attention. A player from the opposing team is picking a nasty fight with the stadium mascot. Should Dirk try to break it up or should he keep watering the tired players? I think Dirk is the kind of team who would definitely try to break that up. Uh, although he's not quite practiced, Dirk relies on what little karate he knows and fearlessly jumps into the fray. Dirk heroically draws the combatant player away from the now defenseless mascot on the ground and swiftly incapacitates the player so he is pinned on the ground. The mascot is treated for minor injuries at the hospital but heals well. Dirk gains respect from the players for saving their beloved mascot and he gains one body point for his heroics. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely what he would do. Cool. All right, so we're going to have him try to smash out a painting to earn even more money because you can see, like, that took a real hit to repay all those bills. Um, and then he, because he needs social, he is going to call some for a chat. Um, I think he's, I honestly think he's a bit too upset to talk to Cassandra right now and maybe he's trying to resign himself to the fact that she is now married. But I think that he is going to start branching out and trying to meet some other women. You know, I think he's definitely still in love with her. No question about that. He still really, really wants to be with her. But I think he's so hurt by what's happened that right now he just can't bring himself to talk to her. And he's clutching at straws here a little bit, but he's going to go on the online route. You know, he's he's going to start trying to meet someone um, to to spend his life with. He is a secondary family sim. That's what he wants to do. Um, so he's right now he's talking to her. Cool. That's interesting. Who else can we talk to? Um, so there's also Sherry, Jody, and Harley. Let's try Sherry. All right. He is home from work. And he also got promoted. Yes. Good job, boys. Bringing it in. Okay, he really needs some fun, so he is just going to come over and play a little bit of uh, video games. Ah, oh, never mind. Play SSX uh, before he jumps back into doing his homework. Okay, so who we got now? Come on, Eileen. Na, 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 na. What was the name of this person again? I forget. Sherry it was. Oh, yeah. Cute. All right. She looks like a nice person. Maybe. <laughs> cool. This isn't making his social go up very much, though. We're just gonna chat a little bit more, and then we're gonna serve uh, a pizza, just a supreme pizza, easy dinner, you know. And then hopefully, actually eating dinner with his son will make his social go up a little bit more, because they can have a nice chat or something like that. So yeah, video games until dinner, and then after dinner he will, um, I'm just going to move that bowl so they can actually eat at the table. Yeah, after dinner he will get down to his studies, because I think while they're eating dinner, Darren might kind of tell him to. <laughs> Alright, cancel doing that. Come and eat your pizza. Yum, delicious. So they're going to talk about mechanical skills, like, oh, you know, I was 
I know you've been studying in that uh, recently. That's really good. And Dirk was like, yeah, it was for my job. Like, really wanted to get promoted and I actually did. And Darren was like, well, that's great. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself, uh, hi- keeping yourself hydrated as well as all the players out there on the field. So don't get too hot. You're not a robot, you know. <laughs> cool. That's really nice. All right, so Darren is extremely tired. So he is... Do they have a coffee machine? No. All right, he's just going to put those leftovers away, clean up, clean up, and then he is going to go to bed. Where, meanwhile, Dirk is going to just quickly use the bathroom, and then he has got a butt tum Butt tum What? Butt ton of homework to do. So he is going to knuckle down and get that done. I think he would ask Darren for help, but... Darren's really tired. So that's a bit unfortunate. He doesn't need to gain any more skill points for work at this stage, which is good, because that means that he might actually get promoted again tomorrow. Didn't he just pee? Oh, he has the flu. That's right. I forgot about that. When Sims have the flu, their bladder goes completely wild, which I get. My bladder also goes completely wild when I have the flu. Ah, but he's healthy again now. Sitting down doing his homework made him feel so much better. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to um, send him to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Cool, so it is morning and uh, Darren's wants have finally reset, so they're actually working now, which is nice. And you can see, uh, interestingly, he actually wants to chat online. So, clearly I was, um, you know, we were, we were thinking about the same things. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I think he really, yeah, he really wants to... He wants to find someone and he's not sure that anyone's going to be able to take the place of Cassandra, but maybe he'll try. Maybe he'll try like meeting some other people, dating some other people. Um, Dirk rolled the want to meet someone new, so I'm just having him chat online and then he is actually going to just play some more SSX just to get his fun up. Now he wants to be friends with Mickey, which is cute. I like that. He also wants to earn money and he still wants to be friends with Melody. What is their relationship? Oh, it's pretty low actually. Maybe I should have him send her an email. Or something like that. It is kind of convenient in um, like The Sims 4 when you can just text people. <laughs> just to maintain your relationships. That's nice. Alright, so he's just up there painting. And then once he has done a little bit more of his homework. Homework what? Of his painting. He'll come down and have some toast. He's still get him, getting his fun level up. And then I will just get him to send an email before he goes. Oh, yay! He gained a creativity skill point. So you can see he wants to... Oh, thanks! Thanks, random lady, for coming into my house and telling me that. I'm um, sorry, I was saying he actually wants to max out a skill. That would give him a real big boost. So hopefully we are going to be able to max out the creativity skill before too long. Okay, don't go to school yet. Just quickly send your email and then go to school. Um, to Melody. Maybe he's just sending her a funny meme or something. Cool, cool bananas. Right, his painting is getting there. Can I tell you to have toast? Come down and have toast. Then we might spend some time just cleaning up the yard, watering the flowers. Because he was a nature sim. Oh no, he burned his toast. You burnt your toast. Well, I would probably burn my toast too if I cooked it in the oven. Honestly, I don't understand this, guys. Four iterations of The Sims that we've had, and we still don't have a toaster object in the game. Why is that? I don't understand. I know it's gross. Okay, you can stop eating it. And then we're just going to come out and water that. And then you got to get your butt down off to work. Okay, just rake up that one pile. Oh, one of my most like favourite mods that I have in my game, by the way, is a faster raking leaves mod. It's so nice. <laughs> it's just so simple and so awesome. Alright, so Dirk's going to be home any minute now. Um, he is unfortunately going to have to go off to work again. He's now one of the top students at school. Yeah, he is. He's going to be an overachiever. You watch it. So he's an A-plus student. And if he can get to the top of his career, I believe that is what will make him an overachiever. So that is the goal. Oh, actually, instead of calling, we'll just, um, can we check email? 
Check email. There it is. Right in front of me. Good job. <laughs> yeah, if he can get to the top of his career, he'll be an overachiever, which I want for him because I think that would be very much in his character. So he's just going to come out here. He's going to rake that while he waits for his carpool. This is going to be a part that's similar to the part with the burbs where everyone's just kind of working and going to school and doing their thing and... There's not as much opportunity for storytelling, unfortunately, but we will get there. I have faith. Alright, so Darren gets home at 6 and he needs mechanical skill points for his job, which is interesting. We'll see if he want, rolls the want to actually gain those. He gets, like, re needs really tank when he's at work. Like, I don't know about that. Cool, everybody's home. Okay, so he still wants to be friends with everyone and some fun. We're just going to call up Melody and keep working on that relationship. Um, and I do also want to invite Lilith over maybe tomorrow night because... Oh no, did I actually say invite over? <laughs> Oops. Wow, that's just rude, Melody. Like, there's no need to be like that. He's going to call her back and be like, hey, what was with that, like, really rude, like... <laughs> rejection that you just gave me that was a little uncalled for i agree babe that was uncalled for oh look at this okay he wants to just gain a skill point so um upstairs we have a bookcase and a chair so we are going to study some mechanical and get that happening how are you guys going are you getting along yeah you got some pluses happening uh, but yeah i feel like dirk's He's had a taste of Lilith, and he might want some more. <laughs> Teenagers, man, what can you do? But I would like him to actually, like, roll that want. That would be nice. Good job, Darren. Okay, so now he wants to buy a toy-making planche and a robot station, and he still wants to chat online. Maybe we can come down and chat with... I was going to say it'd be really nice if... um. What was her name again? Sharon or something? Sherry was online again, but it doesn't look like she is, so that's alright. These guys are possibly almost friends? Yes. Awesome. Alright, clean that up. Oh, he actually wants to sneak out with Melody. Well. Interesting. Maybe he actually wasn't that satisfied with what happened with Lilith. Ooh, plot twist! Did not see that coming. I love how your sims can surprise you. Oh, did she like sign off or something? Okay, maybe let's let's call the girl we met. Or actually, maybe not call her. Let's send her an email. And like, we can pretend that he might be like, uh, hello, why won't... That was weird. Anyway, yeah, maybe he can be like, oh, you know, just checking in, like, it was really great to meet you and whatever, and yeah. He is going to freshen up. And then can we call her to sneak out while Darren's sitting right there? Oh, we totally can. Nice. Let's do that. And then he's going to go to bed because he is a tired old man. <laughs> I relate. Yeah, that's really interesting. Here I am saying like, oh yeah, I think these two would actually really get along. And then yeah, Dirk's here like, hell yeah. I want to sneak out with her. Hmm. Hmm. They were, those two sims should be going to college at a pretty similar time. So it might be interesting to see what happens while they're both at college together. All right, so here she is. She's got one of the rundown beat up cars. <laughs> Fair enough. He is going to sneaky sneak out of the house and we will see if he gets away with it. I mean, Dirk's a pretty smart sim, so I would be surprised if he got caught, but we'll see. Oh, he just wants to sneak out with her again. Oh, Darlene's out. Hi, sweets. He's having a good time. Let's see if he manages to make it home. Yes, he does. Yep. I really would have been surprised if he'd gotten caught sneaking out. I love that. I love that he just got away with it. Well, there you go. Good thing you didn't get busted. <laughs> because, yeah, that would have been uh, 
double whammy of fears coming true. Nice. Okay, well, it's actually almost morning. So I won't bother cutting this time, which is nice. We are going to get Darren out of bed and he is going to come and continue his painting. He wants to reach creativity. These two really want to go swimming quite a lot as well. So it might be nice to build them a pool in the backyard at some point. Why don't you like your son? I wonder what the story of Darlene Dreamer is. Hmm. Maybe next time I'll have to pay co closer attention to what she's sort of thinking about and saying when she comes out as a ghost. Could be interesting. Alright, uh, he is going to be very tired for school today. But you know what, mate? You brought that upon yourself. He's just going to get up and have some cold pizza for breakfast because who doesn't love cold pizza for breakfast? If you haven't tried it, guys, get on that. It is so good. And then we're just going to quickly come and play some games. He is going to lose a grade point by going to school without having done any of his homework. But what can you do? Uh, maybe he'll try to... Should he try to whack some of it out or have a bit of fun? He's just going to try to have a bit of fun. He's tired. He might be a little grumpy from not sleeping too well. So he's just going to buff up his fun a little bit before he has to go to work and school again. Oh, well. <laughs> Didn't get time for much. That's a really cool painting. I like it. Let's see if we can get it finished. And then come down, clean up, and have some oats. Uh, he's only got an hour. Yeah, no, he's going to have to wait. Oh, he did it. Cool. It's only worth 81 swallions. <laughs> Man, come on, Darren. Pull yourself together. Paint something that's worth a lot of money for me. Quickly, because you're going to run out of time to eat. Gosh, they make take a long time making food, don't they? Oh, nuts. Okay, you're going to have to... You're going to have to go. Sorry, mate. Eat at work. I do. <laughs> if I'm, like, running late in the morning, I just take my breakfast and eat at work. It's pretty good. But breakfast is the most important meal of the day, guys. Make sure you don't, don't skip. I like that he's actually having fun at school. That's kind of cute. I think that's a mod I have because he's an A-grade sim. He actually enjoys school. Uh, but yeah, he he dropped to a B-plus today because he did not do his homework. And he wants to sneak out again. Oh, he brought a friend home. That's cute. He doesn't care at all about said friend, apparently. Like, he doesn't want to interact with her at all. Oh, while sitting on his plastic bucket, charcoal pencils in hand, Darren is approached by a notable Sim City socialite. Notable not only for her involvement in a number of respected charities, but for possessing a nose of such grand proportions that it borders on caricature itself. The woman asks Darren to do a caricature, and Darren has to decide whether to go for it and sketch the nose in all of its glory or tone it down a bit out of respect. Hmm, he's a playful Sim, so I think he's going to go for it. Oh no! <laughs> Darren goes for it and after a few minutes presents the sketch to the socialite. The woman breaks into tears at the sight of the exaggerated nose on the page. Her driver comes running over to her, sees what Darren has done and smashes Darren's easel, destroying all of his supplies and putting him out a day's wages. Ah, oh, nuts. <laughs> Som look, sometimes your jokes don't hit. Okay, it's just, that's just life. Sometimes my jokes don't hit. Seriously. In fact, often they don't. We're going to have to say goodbye to this cheeky babe before we go to work. Because otherwise she's just going to be here awkwardly, like, in the house. Sorry, hon. Maybe one time we'll be friends eventually. Oops. And then go to work. He wants to earn some money, so that will make him happy. Meep, meep. Gosh, that car horn is an annoying car horn, isn't it? Phone's ringing. Sorry, nobody's home. Need an answering machine. Yeah, look how quickly his needs go down in this career. It's crazy. Is it because he's like sitting on a street doing caricatures all day or something? <laughs> Excuse me, I just hiccuped. Run! Oh, it's Melody! I oh, see, now he wants to be friends with this chick. Okay, I think Melody like is like, hey, let's like sneak out again tonight. But look, babe, we're really tired and our grades are slipping. So 
Maybe not tonight. I am sad though. I'm sad that he hasn't rolled any ones to interact with Lilith. Aww. Poor Lilith. She's probably like... I don't know. I, th I feel like she might be getting a little nervous, you know? Like like the whole you, you woohoo with your boyfriend for the first time and then they don't call or text or email and you're like, oh god, did I do something horribly wrong? Like, men. Seriously. Hmm. So yeah, that's really interesting. I didn't really see this coming um, for his character. But Sims surprise you. So maybe, yeah, we'll have to think of a bit of a plot between Melody and Dirk. But he is going to smash up doing his homework. Darren is going to aim to get another mechanical skill point. He is going to sell that painting. And then he's going to come down and fix, whoops, fix this shower that he managed to break. Hopefully two mechanical skill points will be enough, but we'll have to wait and see. Awesome. He wants to see a ghost, so it would be cool if his wifey came out again tonight. Maybe we'd have to wake him up for that or something. Then he's going to clean up this oats he never got to. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, he really wants to have some fun and he's still... Okay, okay. He wants to sneak out with her again. Let's do it. Oh, is it too early? Okay, yeah, it's too early. Let's just maybe have a bit of a nap. Let's pretend that he fall, fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> I fall asleep on my couch all the time. I don't know where you guys usually watch like your YouTube videos when you watch them. Sometimes I watch mine on my couch and it's like a thing for me that whenever I do that, I will, I will fall asleep. Especially if I am watching James Turner. Something about that man's voice. I'm just like, oh, I'm just so relaxed and happy and I'm just going to pass out and sleep. I love this dog. Oh my gosh, I want to adopt you. Hello, Tiffany. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her fluffy tail. Do, you, does, do either of you want a dog? Not really. Okay, well, that's a, that's a little sad. All right, so she is going to come and pick him up. So he needs to go to bed because he's going to be one tired Sam. Seems like repairing the shower is going a little better this time, which is awesome. He's going to have to mop up this mess. And then go jump into bed. So we're actually almost done with the, this part of the Dreamers, which is crazy. Like, I, it just goes so quickly sometimes. Um, but we, we will hang out to see if he manages to get away with uh, sneaking out again. Or if this time he's going to get busted. Let's find out. Whoop! Quick. Get out of bed. Come use the bathroom. She's gonna be here any second. Yeah, he's gonna be so tired. Oh man. Dirk, what are you doing? Maybe it's because Darren's gotten himself another job. Like, Dirk's decided he's gonna start acting out again. I don't know. What is with this kid? There he goes. Now he wants to earn money. Let's see. Let's see if he gets away with it a second time. Also, our garden is dying, which is unfortunate. Darren needs to devote some time to, to, to taking care of it. Oh, he's made it again! You sneaky little maestro. I love that. Okay, well, he made it a second time. You can say many things about Dirk Dreamer, but, uh, yeah. He's a sneaky little bugger. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, like I was saying, um, we're actually done with this part of the Jerima household because it is now Friday, which is where I have been leaving the other parts. So yeah, interesting part. Leave me your thoughts and comments, guys, please. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about the whole Dirk and Melody Tinker um, sort of relationship that's developing here. Like it's, it's kind of interesting to me that he is so interested in sneaking out with her and hanging out with her when he's like super attracted to Lilith and I don't know maybe is he freaked out by Lilith maybe maybe Lilith pushed things too far too quickly like oh he's down here I'm looking at the wrong sim <laughs> but yeah like did did Lilith take things too far too fast and is Dirk kind of running scared and seeking comfort in Melody is his interest in Melody pure friendship or is it something more what do you guys think? Have you ever paired up Dirk and Melody? I actually haven't, but that would be a, a pairing that makes a lot of sense. So, mm, interesting. The only thing is, like, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the part of the Tinkers that I recorded, but I, I kind of see Melody as a gay sim. So maybe, like, 
Oh, maybe there could be a bit of a storyline with Lilith getting super jealous of Melody and not really liking her very much. But then actually Melody's like, dude, I'm not, I, trust me, I'm not interested in your boyfriend. Like, that is not what I'm about. Mm, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah, uh, please hit that like button. It would mean, it means so much to me when you do. Um, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, it means so much to me every time my little number of subscribers goes up by just one. I get really excited. I like send my boyfriend a Snapchat and I'm like, oh my God, I got another subscriber. It's really, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> leave your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more. I'll see you in my next episode. Episode. Bye.